In today's video, I'm going to teach you how to add environment variables in Vercel. Whether you're a seasoned developer or just beginning your journey, managing environment variables is a crucial part of deploying applications. Let's make sure your project has the right settings to run smoothly and securely. First, let's start by logging into your Vercel dashboard. This is your command center where you manage all of your projects. Once you're logged in, navigate over to your project. It's vital to ensure you're working on the correct project, as each may have different configurations that need to be set up independently. Now look for the project settings. You'll find this option in the sidebar on the left when you're viewing the main project page. Once you click on Project Settings, navigate to the Environment Variables section. This section is where you can add, modify, or remove environment variables that your application might need. Let's now add a new environment variable. Look for the Add button, which should be visible within the Environment Variables section. When you click it, you'll be prompted to enter a few important pieces of information. Start with the Name field. This is where you'll input the key, which acts like a label for your environment variable. For instance, if you're setting up a database connection, you might name it PostgreS URL. Be sure to pick a name that is descriptive and easily recognizable, as this will help you find it later, especially if you need to make changes. Next, you'll enter the value. This is the actual content or data that the environment variable holds. In our example, this could be a connection string to your database. It's crucial to make sure this value is correct, as any mistakes here could lead to application errors or issues with connectivity. The final step in adding your environment variable is to define its environment. You'll choose where this variable will apply, whether in production, preview, or development environments. Make your selection based on where your variable is needed. For example, sensitive information like API keys should be set specifically where applicable, avoiding unnecessary exposure. Once you've filled out these fields, click Save to confirm your addition. It's important to remember that any changes you make to environment variables will only apply on the next deployment. This means you won't see the effect immediately in your live application, but rather after the next time you deploy your changes. And there you have it you've successfully added a new environment variable to your Vercel project. Properly managing your environment variables not only enhances security, but also ensures that your application runs smoothly across different environments. Thanks for watching, and happy coding!